Hey friends, it's Zero the Hero here, and I have heard you guys have had started to talk about subtraction. What does that word mean, subtraction? Ooh, I heard some friends say take away. You're exactly right. And when we practice subtraction, there's so many stories I love to read. And this is one of them. This story, I bet you guys know, or at least know the song. This so story is called Five Little Monkeys. Five little monkeys. What do they look like they're doing? Anybody heard of it before? If you said jumping, you are right. Five little monkeys, and I bet they're jumping on their bed. Let's see. And you guys, when you look at my pages to this story, it shows you exactly what you can do to read along with me. See these little picture cues? See how it helps us know what to do? I'm going to be doing those too. I know you can't see my face because I'm reading the book and I want to make sure you can see the pictures, but I want to see you guys doing that part with me. So I can show you my fingers, but I want to point to here instead. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off. Oh no, there he is, I bet, upside down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So let's practice that. So if we had five monkeys jumping on the bed and one fell off, what can we do with our fingers to show that? You got it. Let's take one away. There it goes. How many monkeys are left? You got it. Four. Look. One, two, three, four. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. There's our fingers. One fell off, there he is, and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh no, but if there was four and one fell off, there he goes, whoop. How many are left? One, two, three, I bet you're right. Let's turn the page and see. Oh, there it is, and there's our new fingers. Say, three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One, I bet it's this guy, he's upside down. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So we had three. One fell off. How many are left? Two. I bet you're right, there we are. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So if we had two and we take away one equals one is left. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So if one fell off, how many are left? <gasps> how many is that? Zero, you guys know I like that number. Zero, so instead of being zero in bed, so all five little monkeys crawled back into bed and they pulled the covers up over their heads. Nighty night, those monkeys said. How many are back in the bed now? One, two, three, four, five. Now, before we go, I wanna do a little subtraction or take away sentences so we can practice. So let's go back to the beginning. And I want you guys, we're gonna practice a little bit on each page. So I need you guys to have a dry erase board and a marker. And we're still gonna turn the pages together, but I'm also gonna have my board here so that I can write some sentences with you. So let's turn to the first page. How many monkeys were there all together in the beginning? Five, okay, so that's our starting number. Starting number means that's how many monkeys there were on that bed. So let's write that number, five. There's our five. Now who remembers how many monkeys fell off? Who, how many monkeys fell off? There he is, one. So we can say what? Take away. This is a symbol for takeaway, takeaway, takeaway one. This is our takeaway number right here. We had five, we're taking away one. How many monkeys are left? We know that equals means altogether or how many are left. 
How many were left when we took away one? Whoop, whoop. How many are left? Equals four. Five monkeys take away one equals four. Now, what if I didn't have a book to look at? You're right. Sometimes we don't have a book and we want to write that number sentence. What could I do on my board to help me? If you said draw a picture, you are right. So we're going to do that for this page. So on this page, how many monkeys do we have still? How many monkeys are there? If we need to, if we forget, we can always count. One, two, three, four. So we're going to draw four little monkeys. Now, I'm going to give you the same amount of time that I am. That means you need to go quickly. So when I do my monkeys, I'm going to go like this. Do little ears and then a little hair. You can give a smiley if you want to. Almost looks like a baby. But that is kind of what their face looks like. We could add more details to make it look more like a monkey. But remember, we're going quickly. Four monkeys. So let me say one, two. You guys are keeping up with me because I'm going to keep on going. Two, three, four. Now, what can we do? How many are going to fall off? How many are falling off the bed? One fell off. How can we show that one monkey fell off? Ooh, some of you said a race. That is a good idea. But I still want to be able to see how many I'm taking away. So what else could I do? Ooh, yes, I could put an X. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put an X. Oh, before I do, I almost got too excited. What's our starting number? How many monkeys do we have? Four. Four monkeys. One, two, three, four. That's how many we start with. Take away. Take away how many fell off? One. So we're going to go like this to show we took him away. And then we're going to write it. We're going to do it and write it. Do it and write it. Four take away one equals how many monkeys are left. Circle your group. How many monkeys are left? Circle how many monkeys are still on that bed. There they are. Four take away one equals one, two, three. Three monkeys left. So the first time we could use our fingers... Or any, and then sometimes you can also draw a picture if you have something to draw it on, like we did. Okay, so let's say our number sentence. Four take away one equals three. Perfect. All right, can we keep going? I bet you can all by yourself. You guys keep going. I'm going to turn the pages, and I'm going to read a little bit, and you guys do it. If you need to pause me in the middle, you can do that so you can write your sentence. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Now you guys try it. Pause me if you need to. I'm going to keep going. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Pause me. Or, if you're ready, keep going. One little monkey jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. I'm going to just say this one. I might say one, take away one, equals zero. Zero. And then remember at the end, five little monkeys crawled back into bed. They pulled their covers over the head. Nighty night, those monkeys said. That was the story of five little monkeys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.